Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me the MD-80 is such an iconic plane. Now, when I was just starting to get into aviation, which was in the late 90s, the MD-80 stood out to me from the rest because of its iconic design and also the silver livery that American Airlines used back then. But as everything with life, new and far more efficient jets are now being released onto the market. And unfortunately, the plane is slowly becoming out of favour with the airlines. Now currently, the only major operators of the MD-80 are American, Delta and also Legion Air. However, since these planes are slowly being retired and being replaced by newer ones, what else is there for the MD-80 plane? Now in order to give the plane the respect it deserves, let's talk about its history very briefly. Now the design of the MD-80 dates all the way back in the 1960s, when it was developed as a descendant of the DC-9, which was one of the first airliners of the jet era. It's mainly used for short to medium domestic or regional flights, and it can see up to 130 to 172 passengers depending on the variant and seating configuration, which means it's great for airlines who don't want to dish out on bigger planes to handle certain types of demand. Now it's been the workhorse for many airlines, such as Swiss Air, American, Delta and also Alitalia. A great milestone for the company was that they built well over 1200 planes in various configurations between 1980 and 1999. Unfortunately, two years earlier the company merged with Boeing and they cancelled the production line to focus on the Boeing 737. Now American Airlines once had a massive fleet of the MD-80 but it's slowly being replaced by next generation 737s and also the A320 family. Now the plane is slowly being taken away from the famous airports in the US like JFK, Miami and also LaGuardia. As a result, majority of the MD-80s are now based out of Dallas which actually makes sense. It's the most least efficient aircraft in American's fleet with a mediocre range and it's best to use that Dallas because it's an airport dominated by American. Now both Americans and Delta's MD-80s are nearing nearly 30 years plus and all of their operations are now merged at one major base for spares and also for maintenance purposes. Now to make you understand the power of these planes, they used to fly around 330 flights per day and while I couldn't calculate it, the average daily utilisation falls somewhere between 5-7 to seven hours per day, which is on the lower end for narrow body aircraft within the US. Now American will continue using the plane until the end of next year which is something similar for Delta and they'll be replaced by a mixture of the A321 Neos and the 737 Maxis. Delta will also be replacing their MD-80s with the Airbus A220s and also the 737-900ER. Now initially American planned to use the MD-80 to replace their 727-100s in their fleet. However, they instead used the aircraft for growth when they placed the largest order of the time for 167 MD-80s, including 67 firm orders and also 100 options. Now the plane has been one of the workhorses of American ever since they bought it and they used to operate it on many short haul domestic and also regional routes. So guys all in all, while only a few handful of the DC-9 and DC-10s are still operating today, the last remnants of the Douglas lineup are slowly fading away. As an aviation lover, this is certainly cause for nostalgia but also for optimism. These old planes are now being retired because newer and better planes are taking their place. But still, I highly recommend that if it's possible, go book a fly on these iconic planes because you may never get the chance once they're gone. Now Captains, if you've ever flown on this plane, then be sure to let us know in the comments below what your journey was like. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.